Ahaha! Here is a riddle for you. I hail from a liver besieged where toxins thrive and converge. My presence confounds the wise and clarity I submerge. In the brain I sow confusion. Without a visible lesion, a puzzle born of the liver, what am I? A cerebral intrusion. Hepatic encephalopathy? That is correct. Today, we will explore the complex and intriguing topic of hepatic encephalopathy, a neuropsychiatric syndrome associated with liver dysfunction. This condition poses a unique challenge in diagnosis and management, making it a vital topic for emergency medicine physicians and healthcare professionals, especially those in gastroenterology and emergency medicine. Now, hepatic encephalopathy is a spectrum of neuropsychiatric abnormalities seen in patients with liver dysfunction, typically occurring in chronic liver disease, but can also be seen in acute liver failure. It results from the liver's inability to remove toxins from the blood, leading to their accumulation, particularly ammonia, which has neurotoxic effects. Now, hepatic encephalopathy is a common complication of cirrhosis and a significant cause of hospitalization. It's also an important predictor of decreased survival in patients with liver disease. Its presence can range from minimal with subtle cognitive impairment to overt with severe neurological dysfunction. Now, the pathophysiology. The pathogenesis of Hepatic encephalopathy is multifactorial, primarily revolving around the accumulation of neurotoxins like ammonia in the brain. Ammonia is normally detoxified by the liver, but in liver dysfunction, it crosses the blood-brain barrier, leading to altered neurotransmission. Other factors include inflammation, oxidative stress, and the role of other neurotoxins. Hepatic encephalopathy is classified by grade 1 to 4, ranging from mild confusion and irritability, grade 1, to deep coma, grade 4. Key features include altered mental status, asterixis, and changes in personality or behavior. It's critical to rule out other causes of altered mental status in these patients as well. But how do we diagnose hepatic encephalopathy? Diagnosis is primarily clinical, as there are no specific tests for hepatic encephalopathy. It involves the exclusion of other causes of neurological dysfunction. Laboratory tests can support the diagnosis and assess the severity of liver dysfunction. Neuroimaging is typically normal, but helps exclude other causes. But how do we treat hepatic encephalopathy? Now, the management of hepatic encephalopathy is multifaceted. First-line treatment includes lactulose, which helps reduce the production and absorption of ammonia in the intestines. Rifaximine is an antibiotic with gut-selective effects is often added. Treatment of precipitating factors such as infection, gastrointestinal bleeding, electrolyte imbalance, and constipation is critical. And the complications. Hepatic encephalopathy can lead to significant morbidity, impacting the quality of life and cognitive function. Managing hepatic encephalopathy can be challenging, especially in balancing treatment, efficacy, and side effects and in the setting of recurrent or persistent hepatic encephalopathy. Preventive strategies include regular monitoring and early treatment of liver disease, avoidance of precipitating factors, and patient education on adherence to treatment and recognition of early symptoms. Thus, 
Hepatic encephalopathy is a complex clinical syndrome requiring a high index of suspicion, careful clinical assessment, and a multidisciplinary approach for effective management. So, the next time you run across this disease, you'll definitely know what to do. Because I'm emergency medicine Batman. As always, keep your head up. You're doing great. You're better than what you were yesterday. And that's a lot. Learn something new today. Gonna be a great doc. Sometimes you just gotta hear that.